Hey guys, Emilato from Colorado here. Uh, this is just another tutorial slash uh, breakdown of how I did this color grade. This is what it looks like without color grade. Really disgusting and really unsaturated. And let's put the grade back on. All right, so um, I'm just gonna be going through all the effects that I used on this grade. Um, keep in mind, um, when you are grading footage, don't just put it on the footage itself. First of all, it just like makes it slower and it's not as efficient. If you just put it on a grade, it will just make your life a whole lot easier. And you can just turn it on and off instead of just opening up the footage itself and turning off all the effects. So with that being said, let's um, go through all the different effects I went through. So in total, I use six effects. Let me just turn all these off, and I'll just explain how to use them. Uh, so the first effect I used is a LUT, and if you don't know how to use this, um, all you do is search up here for LUT. If I can type right, LUT, and then just drop it in there. And LUT just helps in the color grading process. I'm not, I stink at color grading, so this is amazing for me. And in order to use this, what you'll do is you'll click the folder icon right here and it'll go through your files and just look for wherever you saved uh, your LUTs at. And I will put a link in the description uh, for Premium Beats. They have, I believe it's like 35 LUTs or something, something around that, 20s, I don't know. Um, but there's a bunch of LUTs down for download, and I'll put that in the description, which you can use to make your images um, much better in post. Anyway, with that being said, so what the LUT I used, I bought from Film Riot during their, I believe it was Black Friday sale and I use the Spider-Man Homecoming LUT. And you'll just click the LUT that you'll want to use, so Spider-Man Homecoming. And instantly you can see that really like enhances the blues, brings up the skin tone. Uh, let me show you what it looks like. Let me get a good look. Okay, so right here, this t-shirt just looks like gray and murky and muddy looking. But as soon as I turn this LUT on, it just like really makes the blues pop out. All right, the next one we're gonna talk about is brightness and contrast. Um, this one's just really simple. Just does what it says, increases brightness and contrast. I only increased the contrast just a little bit just to really bring some detail in the shadows. Then I used curves, used RGB. Uh, I didn't really mess around with the red, green, blue, and alpha channel at all. I just stuck with the main controls. And I brought down the shadows and the highlights a little bit. As you can see there. Next we have the levels histogram. And here, again, uh, kind of like the uh, brightness and contrast, I didn't do too much. I raised the input white and the gamma a little bit. Input white. Oh wait, I gotta turn it on. All right, so the gamma just like kind of is uh, monitors kind of like the brightness as well as the white input also. Helps with the uh, with the brightness. And I believe HitFilm does uh, tutorials, has a tutorial on um, Levels Histogram. I'm not 100% sure how to use it to its full maximum potential. So uh, I will put a link in the description as well about uh, using uh, for HitFilm and how they uh, use Levels Histogram. But I just use like really basic control settings. I didn't 
to uh, far in depth. And that's the thing, you don't have to go like, use like 30 different effects to just get a decent looking color grade. You can just use like six or whatever. All right, and then I used white balance right here. And what this does, you pick a color using the color picker tool right here. And you just pick any color say I want to use that blue and it just like easily like it's kind of like color vibrance it kind of changes the whole overall color of the image obviously that's ridiculous and so it kind of does like like the opposite of the color so I just chose that orange and now it cha changed it to blue so if I ch use this blue it'll probably change to like a orange or red kind of yeah and just mess around with it until you get something that you like. Uh, what I did, I just like went and I chose the sky and used that as kind of like overall thing for my white balance. All right, last but not least, I used this bleach bypass. And how I stumbled upon this is I just went to like uh, presets and I went to film looks I think yeah and I just found it right here bleach bypass or you can just search it up here and the whole bleach bypass it has like all this hue shift diffuse and I just got rid of these two and just used the bleach bypass um, I kept it on preset and left it on luminosity increased the brightness by negative 40 And the amount to 22%. And again, it just gives a nice contrasty uh, kind of look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you want me to do any other effects or want me to talk about a certain topic, let me know in the comments section below. Until next time, kings and queens, work hard, hustle, and grind. I'll see you in the next one.